Good day guys. Um today I'll be checking out some actions to take on the Starknet ecosystem in order to qualify for the airdrop. So this action has speculative nature. So if you might qualify for the airdrop and you might not go. These are these are the guides that I'll be taking in order to run for the airdrop. So First, I'll install the agent X extension, then I'll bridge into the Starknet ecosystem, then I'll make some swaps on 10k swap, then I'll trade on Mint Square and probably lead some NFTs. So I might not do that now, I'll do it later. Then I'll buy a stack name. So let's get started. So first, if you haven't installed your your Agent X wallet, you have to install it by going to the Chrome Web Store here. You can just go to the Chrome Web Store and search for Agent X. So you see it here, and you will see that Chrome here. Then you can just import your wallet or create a new wallet if you don't have a wallet already. So now let's go to the bridge and bridge in some forms. Start next stargate.starknet.io so here this will be the page for the bridge so i'll do i'll first connect my ethereum wallet and the mask address in which the fund is in so in the wallet i've connected now there's a fund in it which i want to bridge into the starknet ecosystem so secondly i will select my starknet wallet which is agent x that i've installed already so I selected the agent X, then I'll connect. So you can see my address is connected from MetaMask uh, wallet, MetaMask Ethereum wallet. And then this is my StackNet mainnet address. So now this is the, this is the fund, my fund balance on Ethereum. So I'll bring it in, in, into here. So now I would like to bridge, let's say 0 0.03 Ethereum into the StackNet ecosystem. I just click transfer then i'll confirm on the metamask oh it's no gas okay let's try and reduce this let's do 0 0.27 here 0.27 oh it's not enough okay let's try and bridge lower 0 0.2 Three. I think the gas is high, so that's why we have to adjust until yeah, this works. So I'm beginning for the two dollars into the StackNet ecosystem. The, the gas is seven dollars, so I'll confirm and wait for it to process. This might take a little bit, so I'll pause the video and resume in order not to take our time. So I'll pause the video and resume it back on the fund is ready. Yeah, so now the fund has arrived. So these are balance. Let's check it on the agents. Uh, agents so we have for the two dollars. Now let's check one thing that on our task. So we make a swap on thank you swap. Let's do thank you swap. Let's come. Let's so you connect our wallet the game side of the connect your wallet and uh, there is something I should mention you, you might see um, a notification here to activate your wallet if you import it assuming you are using uh, old, 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 uh, old wallet as you imported a long time ago so you should inform you, you should you should activate it so that your your phone won't be lost. So but for me here yeah, there's no notification to activate the wallet. So let's continue trading. I'll make some swap here to USDC. Let's say ten USDC. So uh I said something on Twitter that to to qualify for a user, it's very easy. You just have to be a user. 
are not an hunter. So, so to qualify for this drug, I think you should make continual swap and interact with the ecosystem regularly. Like that you'll be very sure that you qualify. So, assuming I want to be using this ten dollar now, I can be using. I can be doing it every day to build up following and also interact with other protocols so that I won't be only interacting with only 10k swap you know? so now interacted with 10k swap and swaps my ETH to USDT but it's still pending here so I might desire to pull it here so as to, so as to provide liquidity and make my transactions count but I'm not doing that right now I might need to that so you can just you want to provide liquidity you can just make create new position and select the ETH here and assuming the USDC has converted you see the balance here then you can just take it it has it has essentially ten dollar USDC then you are pursuing there I can close it opposite here to provide liquidity but I won't be doing that for now so I've made this swap I think that so let's go to the next step trade on Mint on Mint Square. So the address for Mint Square is Mint Square Mint Square dot I here. So the the strategy the correct one the strategy is to try and buy an NFT, trade NFT so as to make the transaction counts on the Darknet Explorer. So that was one of the applications we used for arbitrary airdrops, number of transactions. So try and interact with as many protocols as possible so as to make your transaction number higher. So now I will try and buy an NFT here, just one that is a little bit cheap. So let me buy this big set. $25 so you must decide to buy a lower, a lower, a lower price that yeah, an NFT that is not expensive rather. You can buy an NFT that is not expensive up to three dollars so and just buy it here. What I'm trying to do is just to make my transaction number high. So purchase I put purchase here. So, I think I should have my NFT in it. So, no, it's not there yet. So let's just go to another operator and let's go to buy a stack name. It's not an name. So the website for that one is, I think, um, the website for that is stacknet.id. Stacknet.id. So I just went to the app, click on launch the app, connect your wallet, yeah. Then search the desired name and search OX. I mean so let's see. So the the price for this three years is zero point zero two seven. I don't have up to that, so I will give it to one year registration. Let me see. Now yeah, I mean, so the price is now 0 0.009. I think we can avoid that. That will be approaching this $10 also. I think. Yeah, this $10. So I'll confirm. And doing this also, buying a staff next name, you might qualify for another year group from the staff next ID. Because I'm sure they also be like that. So buying a buying a name from them and 
setting in that with somebody we do that so let's take it by NFT from NFT goes from each day as I write so we can lift it and make our transaction strong so it's dependent then for the video I need to yeah so my the NFT address on the right and the startnet ID on the right so let me just list this point for sale this part and go back to setting up the startnet ID so so now I'm back to the startnet ID so I think So yeah, quickly I'll click on identity to set my name. The name I got as my primary name. So let me pause the video so I'm going to read that So you can see the name has changed, the, the wallet address name has changed from the string of numbers to the name I got. So let me pause. So here is the result. So I set my name, the name I got as my family name. So we are done with the Starknet ID I'm setting up for me. So now let's go back to the main square and list our NFT. So it has been approved. You just have to list it now. So I can list it as zero sign zero. Nine to next sign. So then that's done. And when we have got our name and say that it's aligning to us now. So now the thing I'll say as the first tip is the, the new protocols that are becoming out on StackNet. So you can check them out from here in Discover Apps. So you may interact with them as soon as they come out so as to increase your transaction scams. So check here for the new projects that are coming up on the StackNet ecosystem. This so one is very short to do your own research, so do you want to be investing or um, doing something wrong? Alright, so that will be all for this guide. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share it to your friends. Thank you.